have a microphone. I've been using my iPhone and my Sony camera, but for some reason the audio is really bad on those. So yesterday I finally found a microphone at Best Buy. It literally took me like forever to find this microphone, but we got it, so. <laughs> so today we're just gonna do a quick little video. We're gonna be asking um, your ancestors what messages you need to hear right now. And we have three piles. So starting with the clear quartz for pile one, the raw green calcite, I think it is, for number two, and the raw amethyst for number three. So if you guys want to pause the video and meditate on whichever pile you feel most drawn to, and we'll get right into it. See you guys in a bit. Bye! Hello, and this is for everybody that chose pile one or the clear courts. So today is New Year's Eve, and well that's why I'm recording this. And this is just going to be a quick message from your ancestors. What do you need to know for the new year? Things you can improve on. So we have pile, er, what the heck? <laughs> Weird. I was going to say pile one. But we have the first card, which is clean it up. This card popped out popped out literally right away. I barely even shuffled and it just popped out. And then we have exchanging gifts. We have patience. Patience and planning. We have choose wisely. We have four of cups. Hope you guys can see these. We have Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands, and the Moon. Okay, so messages from your ancestors, what you should know for the new year, things to improve on. So like I said before, the first card that popped out was clean it up. So I feel like there's definitely something in your life that you need to clean up or even just get rid of. This may include like friends or just people that are in your life that aren't really helping you anymore. I also feel like maybe for some of you, you might have just like a dirty room or <laughs> this is including me too, but like a, a dirty vehicle. Like you have a bunch of stuff piled in your car, so maybe it's time just to clean your environment and just get a, a fresh start from that. We also have exchanging gifts. Let me ask and see what that's about. What is exchanging gifts for? Also have breathe. Hmm. Okay, I feel like the overall message is to really just get rid of things that you no longer need, or for some of you, even people that aren't serving you anymore. The exchanging gifts, I feel like that's regarding like just letting go of things and bringing in new energies into your environment. We also have two patience cards. Patient, we have patience and patience and planning. So 
You may have been asking for a certain gift or something to arrive for the new upcoming year and I feel like this thing is going to be coming into your life. You just need a little bit more patient. We also have two seven, so you may be seeing sevens a lot. Oh, look at that. We have seven, seven, and 14. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> so I feel like just having a little bit more patience will also help you a lot. I do see that you may have been struggling for some of you, you may have depression or just trouble sleeping at night. Also hearing anxiety as well. And I feel like this is regarding your exterior environment. I feel like there's people or things that are in your environment that aren't good for you anymore. And it's time to let those people or those things go because that's kind of contributing to how you're feeling mentally. I also am hearing that maybe you feel like whatever you've been asking for or wishing for or like the, wishing for this gift, you feel like it's not going to come and maybe that's why you've been feeling anxious or just depressed because you don't feel like this gift is going to be coming to you anytime soon but we do have the ace of wands and for me that symbolizes like moving forward and also receiving things that you'd like for those of you that are watching this you may also be a water sign because we have the moon card I feel like just the overall message is to clean up your environment some of you just have like messy rooms <laughs> so just cleaning up your environment and organizing things maybe just taking a day off and cleaning and organizing things will really help you both physically because you'll be able to find things better and mentally because you won't be losing stuff and you'll feel just like everything's more in order. We also have the breathe card, so just taking time to yourself and treating yourself, not giving all your energy to these other people. You may also have like a narcissist or just like a selfish person in your life and your ancestors are telling you to move away from that person or those people and focus more on yourself, focus on your own environment, focus more on your mental health and I'm also hearing if you feel like talking to someone would help you a lot, like going to a therapist even if you don't have depression or anxiety, I feel like it's just nice to go talk to somebody about maybe your problems or just things that you're struggling with and just get it off your chest. Even journaling will help you a lot. Just writing down things, maybe if there's something in your life that's troubling you, just writing it down and getting rid of it out of your mind will help you a lot. So that is it for pile one. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you guys are interested in a personal reading, be sure to check out the link in the description. Bye guys, and have a great new year. Oh, and this is for everybody that chose pile two or the green calcite, the raw one. So today we're gonna be talking about what messages do you need to hear from your ancestors? What do you need to hear for the new year? And today I'm filming on New Year's Eve, so yeah. <laughs> and I also have a new microphone so you guys can hear me better. Alright, so we have financial and material changes. Oh, number five, temptation, 15. These two cards popped out right away. They like, oh 
almost flew out. We have breathe. We have clean it up. These are the same cards from the last pile. So you may also feel called to watch the last pile as well. Pile number one. We have fork in the road. We have why. We have Four of Swords upright, the World Reverse, Three of Cups, and Six of Swords. Alright, so the first message I got is that you guys are definitely, <laughs> I'm trying to call you out, but you guys are definitely overthinking. Maybe you have been in the past a lot, or there's just a question on your mind like why has this happened to me or why am I going through this and that's why we have the why card and I do feel like the overthinking has been causing you more harm than good so your ancestors are telling you just not to overthink so much and to take some time out and just relax we have three of cups right here, so definitely having more fun and just not taking life so seriously because I see that you're trying to make a decision on something or you're trying to figure out for some of you why this person broke up with you, if you're going to get back together with them, why you keep running into certain situations, like stuff like that. And we have the clean it up and the breathe card, just like the last pile. And I feel like this year and this message for these piles is pretty much just cleaning up things that you don't need anymore or even people that don't serve you anymore and moving on to better things. Like if this was an ex or an ex-friend and this person did you wrong, like it's not... You shouldn't be going back to that person. Like, you should just try and move on and learn from it. I feel like you learned that you can't trust everybody or that they showed you their true colors and may seem like a bad thing right now, but it'll be good for you in the future because you will know what those types of people act like and what they do and we have financial and material changes and temptation so I'm also hearing another message is to not overspend especially going shopping I know that we all just got money from the holidays so make sure not to spend too much money on new things because I feel like that'll drain your money pretty fast. And I also feel like you have the 515 because you are going through a spiritual awakening. And this might not seem like it. It might seem just like a bad thing that's happening to you. But it's really showing you the right path to go down. Because I keep looking at the arrows on this card right there so I feel like this is pointing you whatever happened to you is pointing you in the right direction now instead of being with these fake people or these fake friends or even just in this situation you also have the world reverse so maybe when you were with this person or in the situation you didn't see good things or you didn't see what would be like the good outcome of being with this person. You viewed like your cup half empty rather than half full. And I feel like now that you're getting out of this spot, is you're finally able to move on and see things for the better. This might be like a painful loss, but I feel like overall it's really going to benefit you. We also have Four of Swords, so definitely taking time out and resting. And I also feel like if 
you feel called to like go hang out with your friends or just go out. I know it's COVID time, so maybe just FaceTiming your friends and talking to them or just kind of getting outside and maybe walking around or going and doing an out outdoor activity will help you a lot and get your mind off of this past situation. So I feel like your ancestors' message is just whatever happened in the past, it was to benefit you. It's not to make you feel like shit, pretty much. It's going to benefit you in the long run. And I, I also keep looking at this key and like the little keyhole in his chest. So I feel like maybe it, this situation broke your heart, but there's no point in like keep thinking about it because if you do, you're just going to keep feeling in that bad mood. And I feel like it's just time to move on because once you do that, you're going to find a lot better situations and a lot better people to hang out with or even just a better relationship so that is it for pile two thank you guys so much for watching if you'd like a personal reading be sure to check out the li link in the description box and i'll see you guys later and i hope you guys have a great new year bye Hello, and this is for everybody that chose the Amethyst, the Raw Amethyst. So today, since it's New Year's Eve, while well, I'm filming this on New Year's Eve, we're going to be looking at ancestor messages for the new year, what you can expect, and yeah, just messages in general. Okay, so we have, wait, okay, we have truth be told hope you guys can see these there we go let me go right there okay truth be told the fates message in a bottle clean it up we've literally had this card for all of the piles so if you felt drawn to watch all the piles go do that <laughs> We also have here and now. We have Treasure Island. We have Loyal Heart. Death Reversed. Queen of Cups Upright. The Lovers Reversed. Recognition and Reward. Disruption and Solitude. Alright, so messages from your ancestors, what you can expect for the new year. So I definitely feel like there's going to be a big change coming. I feel like you're going to find the truth out about something or something is randomly going to be sent to you. I feel like it could either be money yeah, I'm feeling money or like a gift for someone I'm seeing a car. I'm also seeing that maybe you have been scared of changing things as well because we have the death reversed. So maybe you've been scared of change, but I feel like if you start embracing change a little bit that whatever you've been hoping for is literally gonna it's literally gonna be there at your door very fast I'm also hearing meditation if you're not meditating to do that as well so we have loyal heart So if you've been hoping for a new relationship, I definitely see that coming in very soon. I also feel like that's a message regarding just you. So maybe your confidence hasn't been as high, you've been scared of changing things, you've been just scared of getting out there. And your ancestors are telling you that you are this 
queen of cups you're very you may be an empath or your intuition is just very accurate and to listen to it and not be afraid of what other people think I feel like the the message for this with this whole pile is to pretty much be confident in yourself and not be scared of the changes that happen even if you find out the truth about something or if something just happens differently or unexpected don't be scared of accepting something new we also have the lovers reverse so maybe you have been in a relationship with someone and it just wasn't working out or maybe you're currently in a relationship right now and it's not working out and your angels are telling you to not be scared of leaving this person not be scared to be alone because you're you have a very loyal heart like the card you have a lot to offer and if someone isn't treating you right like you shouldn't be with them I definitely see like something big coming in because we have recognition and reward disruption and solitude so it's gonna be something that you're really not expecting like this card we have treasure island I feel like it's literally gonna be that treasure chest I'm even getting like goosebumps like it's gonna be something really big out of the blue I don't know what it is, but your angels are saying to accept it and not be scared of changing things. If it requires a little bit of change, be open to changing. And also, if you're not sure if you should take it, we have solitude because it's telling you to just maybe meditate on what's being offered. There may be a couple different offers and maybe you have to choose one. Hmm. Clean it up, I feel like that's just the people in your past or maybe even the thing things in your past that just weren't right for you anymore and I feel like Whoever is watching this, you probably already know what isn't serving you anymore and it's telling you for the new year just to kind of clean it up and <laughs> bring in some new energies. I feel like that's just like the message for all these piles is to get rid of the old and bring in new things. I also keep looking at the fates and I keep looking at the stars on that card so maybe you're a YouTuber or you do social media or you have your own business and it hasn't been very successful and you're gonna be offered something very new pretty much offered a message in a bottle like something's just randomly gonna show up or maybe randomly you post something and it blows up Like, maybe you randomly post something on your shop. Like, let's say Etsy shop or, like, Amazon or something. And randomly, like, a bunch of people keep buying it. And then you have to make your shop or whatever you're doing more towards that. And your angels are just saying to not be scared of changing things around. Like, if it feels right, go for it. If it doesn't feel right, then I would try and avoid it. But I feel like whatever this is coming in is definitely for you. And it's meant to happen for you to improve yourself and improve your life. Ancestors are also saying to meditate and not be too far in the future and not be too far in the past. So 
when you think about the future that brings you anxiety when you think about the past that brings you depression so try and be in the here and now or the present moment so your mind is your mind is calm and by doing that you're opening up doors to new opportunities so yeah that is what i'm seeing for pile three if you guys would like a personal reading be sure to check out the link in the description and i hope you guys have a great new year and i'll see you guys later bye